So let's see what this woman got to say. This woman had one bad incident in the DR, right? Now she want to tell all black people don't go there. My daughter and myself were accosted by that of who appeared to be immigration. And they came upon us like out of nowhere, right? Out of nowhere. And well, one of the officers, I guess it was, put his hand on my shoulder and he put his hand, other hand on my daughter's shoulder and said, give me your passport. And we're like, what? What are you talking about? Like we had no idea what was going on. And so I was, before I can even say that I was American and you know, any of that kind of stuff, a lady ran across the street. She was Dominican says, no, 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 no. They're American. Leave them alone. Right. And so they left, they being the immigration officers, it was two trucks full of them. And they also had another truck, which I guess they, uh, when they went through their sweep of picking up Haitians, they put them in this truck. As you can see, there looks very barbaric. It's like a jail on wheels. And so to really sum it all up, they were looking to round up Haitians that came over illegally. And so I guess, uh, Haitians have to walk around with their passports because they could get wrangled up there and put into the detention center and all of that. And so the officer, along with two other officers who surrounded me were ready to snatch me up. Cause I guess they thought I was Haitian and that I was not supposed to be there. How they figured I was Haitian. I don't know, because if you ask me, Dominicans and Haitians and myself, we all look alike. So I'm like, what is this really about? Right? So obviously I was really upset and I was angry that for one, they put the hands on me and two, how you gonna come up to me talking about, give me your passport. You didn't tell me who you were. You didn't say, Hey, we're doing a sweep or we're just checking to make sure people eat nothing. There was no type of diplomacy or protocol to what he did to my daughter and myself. And so rightfully came to my mind, like, wow, Dominican Republic is really racist. Now we have heard that, but you know, I went on the strength that my friend who has been there before said it was a great place to go. And so I experienced racism, um, for myself there. Now, listen, I'm an American. So racism is not new to me and I'm black in America, right? It's not new to me, but I will say bar none that that was the most racist thing that happened to me in my life for somebody to come up to me and attempt to snatch me off the street because I looked Haitian, right? And so Dominican Republic is very racist. I'm telling y'all and no shade to Dominicans, but I'm telling y'all as black people, if you want a vacation somewhere, go to Africa. Don't go to these South and Central American countries. They don't like us there. They don't like us just like white people in America do not like us. Okay. Now you heard what she said. Now she's telling you go to Africa. Don't go to Latin America. Don't go to, so that means don't go to Brazil. Don't go to the Dominican Republic. Don't go, don't go to Panama. Right. So don't even go to these places that have large black populations. She's, she's saying go to Africa. So let's see. Let's let, let, let's 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 measure that real quick. Let's let, let's investigate that. She said she's saying to go to Africa, folks. Now let's see what a person who's actually a expert in Africa, who's been there for a while, has to say about Ghana, which is in Africa, right? Let's go. This is just one example, right? Because I didn't have time to keep recording all these different um, these different testimonies of people who lived in Africa. I didn't have all the time. So I'm going to go to the person who at one point was pumping up Africa, was telling everybody, just go to Africa. But this is what he's saying now. So let's, let's see if what he's saying matches what she just said, go to Africa. Say this right here, because I know Ghanaians watch this and I know there are government officials who watch this. And I've been coming to Ghana for the last seven years. I have met beautiful people in Ghana, whether it's Ghanaians, whether it's African Americans, whether it's other people who are coming into Ghana to pursue either their happiness, trying to reach their potentials. Many people have come out of of America, UKs and Canada's coming back with hopes 
of a better life. I have did many interviews of people here in Ghana who have had hopes coming here only to be scammed, only to be taken advantage of, only to be uh, uh, land to be taken. I know people who have been killed here in Ghana because of land disputes. And yet Ghana has made this whole door of return to be some sense of uh, of of a, a of a historical event that, in my opinion, it was only a ploy, a plot, a scheme to get the dollars out of the hand to bring in to Ghana. The last number I, I was told, there's over fifteen thousand of us here in Ghana. And I know without the 15,000 of us that are here and those that come back and forth and the money that is sent outside of the country of Ghana, Ghana could not stand. I'm going to put it out there. We have come here to build businesses. And I know my brothers and sisters there in the Hebrew Israelite community, they are pillars here in Ghana. They have factories, they have businesses. They have they got farming. They have done so much, and it, it 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 hurts me to the core when I see that when we come with good intentions, a good heart, and trying to trying to come and establish a new way of life, and we hire the locals, we supply the jobs, we we are we are creating an industry for Ghana, and yet we're overlooked, used, and abused. And yet we still don't even have a voice. You know. So you heard that. So based off what you just heard, do you think Africa is a place for black Americans to go? Do you conclude that Dominicans will treat you worse than Africans will treat you based off what he said? Right now, if you look 